So now number five express the square root of zero point one two three one four four in standard form. So if you have square roots in your calculator, you can press and if you don't have square roots, just know that these four zeros will reduce to two that is 0, 0.0 then square root of 144 is 12 so that is 0 0.012 so to change this to standard form so this will be 0 1 2 so see where i stop so that will be 1.2 times 10 raised to power minus 2 that is 0 one two so one point two times ten raised to power minus two so that is the answer so the correct option is c so now number six So number six, simplify 25 raised to power minus one over two times 27 raised to power one over three times one to one raised to power minus one over two times six to five raised to power minus one over four. So to simplify this, change every number here to its index form. The index form of 25 is 5 raised to power 2 and is raised to power minus 1 over 2 times the index form of 27 is 3 raised to power 3 and is raised to power 1 over 3 times the index form of 1 to 1 is 11 square and it's raised to power minus 1 over 2. Remember the way I said you should be finding the index form. Use this format as in for 25 example now. 5, the lowest number that can go. 5 in 25, 5. So 5 again. 5 in 5, 1. So that means 25 is 5 times 5. Do the same thing for the rest so you will get the index form. So times 6 to 5 is 5 raised to power 4 times 1 over 4 so now these two we cancel out that two so this will be 5 raised to power minus 1 times this 3 we cancel out that will be 3 raised to power 1 times this 2 we cancel out 11 raised to power minus 1 times this 4 we cancel out you know that is minus so that's 5 raised to the power minus 1 so like that so the next thing is what is 5 raised to the power minus 1 that is 1 over 5 so 5 raised to the power minus 1 is 1 over 5 times 3 over 1 because 3 raised to the power 1 is 3 times 1 over 11 times 1 over 5 so now multiply all the numerator 1 times 3 3 times 1 3 times 1 3 that's 3 over 5 times 1 5 5 times 11 55 55 times 5 275 so answer is um, 3 divided by 275 so you notice no number can go so you leave it like that so the correct option is d so let's say number seven
So number seven. In a youth club with 94 members, that is universal sets, total number 94. 60 like modern music, number of modern music, 60, so I'm using M for modern. And 50 like traditional music, so I'm using T for traditional, 50 like traditional music. The number of members who like boats, who like boats, the number of members who like boats, that is number of music, uh, um, modern music and traditional music. So the number of members who like boats is three times those who do not like any of the, any type of music. So it's three times number of those who do not like any of the music so that is the interpretation so if number of those that like nothing any is y so that means this will be three y it will still represents now all these are from your questions universal is 94 number of modern music is 60 number of traditional music is 50 and the number of members who like both modern and traditional music now is three times the number of those who do not like any type of music so like that how many members like only one only like only maybe only one type of music so that should be the maybe only one type of music so i don't know the number but let's continue so yeah so you have your circle you know it's two sets so I have this so now Universal set is given that is 94 more than 60 traditional music 50. So let's say the number that don't like anything, let me represent it as Y, they are outside there. So, and the question says the number that like boats that is this middle is three times the number that do not like any so that means this place will be three times this one so why does not like any three times y will be both as in like that so this place is now 60 minus 3y and here is also 50 minus 3y so you have to remove this middle from these two results because the if here is a and here is b a plus b should give us 60 and if you say it like that b is 3y so a plus 3y will be equals to 60 a is equals to 60 minus 3y so instead of doing that just remove the middle from those numbers so that is it so now we can find y so to find y, so we add everything together equals to the universal set. So we have 16 minus 3y plus 3y plus 50 minus 3y plus y everything is equals to 94 that is the universal set so minus 3y plus 3y zero 
So I have 60 plus 50. So that will give you 110. Then minus 3y plus y. That is minus 2y. Is equals to 94. So 2y is equals to 110 minus 94. So y 2y is equals to 110 minus 94. So that's 16. Then y equals to 16 divided by 2. y equals to 8. So if y is 8, so I can know everything Yeah. So that means this is 8. Now, if y is 8, 3 times 8 is 24. So 60 minus 24. So here is 36. 3 times 8, here is 24. So I'm replacing y with 8. Then 3 times 8 again, 24. 50 minus 24. So that is 26. So now, according to the question, how many member like only one type of music? Based on the options, I can judge only one type of music. So let me analyze everything one by one. This one means people that are not doing that is they don't like any of the music is eight. This one's like both music, uh, modern music and traditional. This one's like two types of music. This one's they like only one type. So the question, think the question asks for only one type of music. So you will add this one thirty six plus this twenty six. So those ones like only one type of music. So 54 plus, um, 36 plus 26. So that will be 62. So the correct answer is B. So now let's see number eight. That's the answer there. So B, number eight. Let's see number eight now. So for t in the equation, we have 3 over 40 plus 1 over 3, 21 minus t is equals to 11. So what is the LCM of 4, 3, this 11 is over 1 and 1. So the LCM is 12. Now multiply everything by 12 each by 12 multiply each by 12 so that means 4 year 1 4 year 3 so 3 times 3 I'll have 90 plus 3 year 1 3 year 4 4 brackets 21 minus t is equals to 12 times 11 that is 132 so open the bracket. So 90 plus 84, that is 4 times 21, 84 minus 40 is equals to 132. So 90 minus 40, that is 50, is equals to 132 minus 84. Collect 
like times so 50 is equals to 48 because if you divide and if you subtract 132 minus 84 that is 48 so now 48 divided by 5 so what do you get to be decimal but the answer is an O number uh, 48 divided by 5 so t is how many 48 can you see in 5 5 times 9 is 45 so remainder 3 over 5 so that is 9 whole number 3 over 5 so the correct option is d